हेलो एवरीवन अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल आर प्रॉफिटियर्स टू द न्यू वीडियो सो एज आई हैड गिवन अ हिंट ऑन अ व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप एंड होता क्या है कि बहुत सारे लोगों के पब्लिक सेक्टर यूनिट्स पी एस के बारे में क्वेरीज आते हैं लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल आस्क अस अबाउट पी एस कि विच इज़ द पी एस यू यू वॉन्ट टू पिक और यू आर काइंड ऑफ एनालाइजिंग वी आर नॉर्मली स्टेइंग अवे फ्रॉम पी एस यूज फॉर ऑब्वियस रीजन्स सम ऑफ द पी एस यूज एक्चुअली इफ यू सी हिस्टोरिकली हैव एक्चुअली इन द लास्ट फिफ्टीन ईयर्स बहुत कम गिने चुने आपको ऐसे मिलेंगे जिन्होंने रिटर्न दिया है बट and that's the reason that the management integrity and uh, other criteria that we have at the profit curve out of our 36 criteria bahut sare criteria usme match nahi karte hain i mean they don't even come close but having said that uh, if i have to choose one company from this basket from the entire psu basket for long term as well as positional so uh both ways even if you want to have it in a long term play there is no harm in having it from current levels because it has given a consistent breakout and 140 140 levels is the 52 week high so if this stock can break that then definitely even from a positional level i will specify the targets and i'll tell you the reason also why we took uh, power finance corporation this particular script uh well first thing first what excited me about i normally don't look at psus we look at growth stocks and we look at value stocks majority i'm telling you the disclaimer in the private space like in the uh, most of the companies that we have are run by promoters who are in the private sector and they they are tested on management integrity quality asset quality all of that lot of things but public sector units may uh, first thing in the term lending institutions in the financing and term lending institutions power finance corporation currently excites us a lot and the reason is the first reason cliche uh, all the ratios and everything put aside the first reason is market cap now in the sector where you can see rec this is another one that excites us we will make a video on this one too but between the two if you have to choose between number 1 and number 3 that's power finance and rec i think i will like to go for power finance corporation because this is a clear market leader and iska jo pe ratio hai look at the price to earning ratio is minuscule i mean it is available at a pe which is a dream pe for any company plus even if you look at like 3.89 ka price to earning is nothing you're paying peanuts and all you're hoping for that a decent management team runs the company beyond this what excites us in this business especially in psus and why did i not take a bank in psu i'll tell you now we'll go here and we'll understand what does this company exactly do so if you read this section pfc is a government of india undertaking a government of india undertaking sorry and a, a scheduled a navratna cpse engaged in the business of extending financial assistance to power sector to bahut time ye power sector aate hi na we used to feel oh god what happens if some government changes some regulation changes these are all regulatory compliance based businesses and doesn't make sense for a private investor to park his money with a government company but this company is lending financial assistance to the power sector so this is not exactly in the power business or power generation this is into financing the power sector now as our country's economy grows and as we grow from uh, being a 3 trillion dollar to a 5 trillion dollar economy solar power is going to be the future for us so solar power financing may a lot of the projects that are going to come up will eventually come to pfc for the best rates especially in the government sector i mean it's simple when the government plans a project it doesn't want to of course now they can go to private banks there is a new rule but preferably a lot of that cartel portion will come to pfc because this is a clear market leader so market leadership is sorted and it's a nbfc it's a nbfc in the psu space registered with the reserve bank of india as an infrastructure finance company now this is also interesting so tomorrow already you have these two sectors power and infra which are supposed to grow in india with uh, uh, using the latest green emissions and green gas 
uh, i'm sorry green technology and futuristic technology so there will be a lot of uh, good flows that i see coming to this company trust me i have invested a lot of days into uh, getting into this one and the other ones before i could make a video or recommend this one and as you might have figured out uh, this video is primarily in english so dear audience uh, nothing against the hindi audience uh, we try and mix and match and we try and give authentic feel to all our videos to so, languages dono hain lekin agar dono ko mix karo english banao usse better hai we stick to one language so that the people can understand what we are where we are going the other issue is uh, if you look at book value book value is 226 that means currently it's trading at 0.6 times the book value which is undervalued stock hai ye तो वो भी एक क्राइटेरिया हमारा फुलफिल कर रहा है वी लुक फॉर अंडर वैल्यूड स्टॉक्स बहुत कम मिलते हैं लेकिन वो मिल रहा है डिविडेंड यील्ड एट द करंट प्राइस इज एक्सेलेंट 6.9 परसेंट डिविडेंड बीट्स द कन्वेंशनल एफडी एंड इन फैक्ट यू नो काइंड ऑफ द एफडी डी डजेंट स्टैंड फेस वैल्यू इज टेन रुपीज अगेन आई ऑलवेज लुक फॉर कंपनीज विद अ फेस वैल्यू ऑफ टेन और फाइव रुपीज बिकॉज देर आर पोटेंशियल्स दैट पोटेंशियल रहता है कि आगे जाके कंपनी में वैल्यू अनलॉकिंग और ज़्यादा हो सकती है नॉट दैट फेस वैल्यू डिफाइंस मच बट अ टेन रुपी फेस वैल्यू काइंड ऑफ ऑलवेज एक्साइट्स आस एक्साइट्स मी द ओनली थिंग इज आर ओ ई इज प्रिटी गुड आर क्राइटेरिया इज फिफ्टीन परसेंट दिस इज फोर्टीन पॉइंट एट इज वेरी क्लोज आर ओ सी इज द ओनली बॉटल नैक इज अ बिट लो बट देन वेन आई लुक एट लास्ट टेन ईयर्स कंपेरिजन yeah if you look at these four comparisons so last 10 years roe is pretty good 17% so that that takes care of our criteria and this one and last 10 years uh, compounded profit growth is a little low 12% but look at the sales growth of the last 10 years now this is a very important picture if the company is able to grow at 23% sales in the last 10 years that means at least from a revenue from a top line perspective the business is doubling every 3 and a quarter years every 3 3.5 years the business is doubling which is awesome which is great so stock price hasn't moved much this presents an opportunity again when you see that the stock price kagar is only 2% and with the new government coming into center and you know lot of initiatives lot of infra push power push coming so what this is telling me is this is an undervalued stock it's a clear undervalued story and now with the psu basket only going up i mean there is a stock like state bank of india which goes up after 10 years and it gives you 50% returns and people are excited about it but again it's going to fall into a swing uh, into a uh, zone between whatever 360 to 400 uh, trust me it will be trading in that zone for a long 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 time it's given you 50% returns in this year 50 to 60% whatever it might be the exact figure but for the last 10 years it was sleeping so that opens an opportunity in psus and another thing if you look at the fii participation so quarter on quarter the fii's have come back although if you look at the last 6 quarters the fii's have gone away from this stock but i think if i look at the last quarter trend they are planning to reinvest this 16.81 getting into 17.37 shows me a trend reversal from here from 2019 september you see consistent decline of fii participation and here last quarter it this last year and last quarter last 6 month shows me a reversal of trends that's what excites me especially the price to earning ratio really excited us and then let's look at the net profit uh, yeah ek bar net profit dekh lete hain again look at this march 2017 paltry 2000 crore then it triples here then it again goes 1.5 times so between march 2017 and march 2019 the net profit has gone up four times four times and last year it falls again but it does not crash it does not fall too much and look at the time to market trailing 12 months now again it's coming back so that's what i'm saying this reversal again of uh, net profit uh, reversal of fii participation in the last quarter and this exact figure which i have marked for you this is giving us good amount of excitement about power finance 
from a positional perspective i'll give you a target and also from a, a long term perspective also i'll tell you about it look at the eps also so we like companies who have consistent eps at least for the last 6 quarters uh, but in this case i am looking at eps for the last 4 uh, years so if i look at this again the eps is also showing me a breakdown here and then a bounce back in trailing 12 months so again bouncing back to 35 rupees now consider this there are very few companies investors profiteers who will give you an earnings per share of 35 when the price is 135 138 <laughs> i mean as per price this eps that it is giving you is almost 27% almost that's an excellent earnings per share as per the price bahut kam aapko aisi companies dikhengi aur specially psu basket mein jo price ke hisab se eps upon price agar aap nikalo to wo i mean that's 27% ka eps milta hai that is एक्सेलेंट उसके ऊपर सिक्स परसेंट सिक्स पॉइंट नाइन परसेंट का डिविडेंड यील्ड है विच इज़ यर ऑन ईयर नाउ लेट्स गो टू दी अदर पैरामीटर लेट्स गो टू इन्वेस्टिंग डॉट कॉम जैसे हम हमेशा करते हैं पहले इसका फाइनेंशियल्स आपको एक बार दिखाते हैं लुक एट दिस एनी बिजनेस विच इज़ गिविंग यू नेट प्रॉफिट मार्जिन ऑफ अराउंड ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ट्वेंटी फोर टू ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट इज अ ग्रेट बिजनेस इट्स नॉट अ गुड बिजनेस इट्स अ ग्रेट बिजनेस although i am not a big fan of public sector undertakings but because of the competitive nature of the business right now with private nbfcs and public nbfcs fighting it out we think that power finance might benefit uh, humongously from the current value unlocking that we are projecting to happen this net profit margin really excites us it's a very very interesting margin plus another thing which is exciting for us is this one so as i showed you in the earlier uh, screener.com source look at 2017 and 2020 the business has actually grown almost two times it has actually doubled in the last 3 3 years 3 and a half years that's what i was saying if any company can double its business in 3 years that means the true value is yet to be unlocked in the company right and these kind of balance sheets which consistent growth and consistent uh, income is what excites us there was a problem in uh, 2018 i believe but i think this company has bounced back and this bounce back is what we are playing on right now we are actually bullish about the bounce back now don't get too excited about it don't park all your money in power finance this is just one of the options ek option hai abhi iske technical pe fada fat baat kar lete hain then i'll give you the targets uh till the time my slide is loading ladies and gentlemen standard disclaimer please please before making a position in any stocks that we suggest consult your financial advisor or any uh, registered consultant and then take a call it's always better to be safe than to be sorry so this is our standard disclaimer it's also there in the video description now one more thing interesting um, you look at any technical chart technical analysis ka breakdown investing.com gives it to you pretty clearly this is the only rare stock i found today on an hourly basis also it's a strong buy look at the summary five hourly basis also it's a strong buy on a daily also it's a strong buy on a weekly also it's a strong buy and of course on a monthly also it's a strong buy this kind of uh, uh, correlation or rather co filter crossage uh, you don't get much you don't get all these five filters passing with strong buy momentum you you just don't get them even in the good stocks so kuch to exciting hai yahan pe ab uh, we'll stick to monthly like we always pick monthly then we go down let us look at the levels so the first resistance which it crossed last week was uh, okay 133 i prefer to look at the fibonacci series because as per my analysis i think fibonacci works much better it's much more advanced and it gives you the clear picture so first resistance which is crossed is 133 now 139 as i mentioned on our whatsapp group ye wala resistance kafi time se atak raha hai ye cross nahi ho raha hai agar ye cross hota hai to iska up move dekhiye seedha 150 hai and abhi kya hua hai ki power finance corporation ne 
डिविडेंड डिक्लेयर किया है एट रुपीज पर शेयर सो दैट्स अनदर ग्रेट पॉइंट टूडे वी आर ऑन मार्च सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन मार्च द रिकॉर्ड डेट फॉर द डिविडेंड इज इफ आई एम नॉट ट्वेंटी सेकेंड मार्च इफ आई एम नॉट मिस्टेकन यू कैन प्लीज चेक दैट ऑल्सो अगेन इट्स ट्वेंटी सेकेंड मार्च का रिकॉर्ड डेट है तो अभी बिटवीन सिक्सटीन मार्च टू ट्वेंटी सेकेंड मार्च ऑब्वियसली एक ट्रेंड जो हमने देखा है कि बहुत सारे शॉर्ट टर्म इन्वेस्टर्स पोजिशनल ट्रेडर्स इसमें डिविडेंड के लिए इन्वेस्ट करते हैं बिकॉज डिविडेंड इज ऑल्सो नॉट लेस या फॉर अ प्राइस ऑफ वन थर्टी एट इट्स एट रुपीज का डिविडेंड विच कम्स आउट टू अराउंड फाइव पॉइंट सेवन परसेंट स्ट्रेट स्ट्रेट रिटर्न फाइव पॉइंट सेवन स्ट्रेट रिटर्न विद इन अ वीक राइट तो इसमें तो कोई लॉजिक ही नहीं है कि ऊपर जाएगा नीचे आएगा वो तो मिलना ही है नाउ बिकॉज ऑफ द डिविडेंड वेन इट क्रॉस इज वन थर्टी नाइन दिस रेजिस्टेंस वी आर लुकिंग एट सो आर टारगेट इज वन फोर्टी सेवन बट ऑन इवन ऑन अ कंजर्वेटिव बेसिस आई थिंक वन फिफ्टी शुड बी आर फर्स्ट गुड टारगेट पोजिशनली पोजिशनली तो अगर ये वन फिफ्टी टच करता है देन एनी पोजिशनल इन्वेस्टर पोजिशनल ट्रेडर हु गेट्स इन टूडे और इवन टूमोरो सेवनटीन मार्च यू एंड अप मेकिंग ट्वेल्व रुपीज ऑन द प्राइस मूवमेंट एंड एट रुपीज ऑन द डिविडेंड सो टोटल ट्वेंटी रुपी पर शेयर का गेन आपको सीधा सीधा विद इन अ वीक और टेन डेज मिल रहा है विद इन टेन डेज विच इज इन परसेंटेज टर्म्स इफ यू सी द गेन इज ट्वेंटी रुपीज आउट ऑफ वन थर्टी एट विच इज ऑलमोस्ट फिफ्टीन परसेंट फिफ्टीन परसेंट रिटर्न बैठा है आपके लिए इट्स जस्ट वेटिंग फॉर यू टू हैपन और बाद में क्या होगा डिविडेंड आने के बाद ऑफकोर्स सम इन्वेस्टर्स विल डंप द स्टॉक लोग डंप करेंगे तो आप एग्जिट भी कर सकते हो अगर आप पोजिशनल ट्रेडर हैं तो वन फिफ्टी पर आप एग्जिट भी कर सकते हो and then you can again pick it up around 132 or 135 levels and one more thing i saw that the rsi is perfectly positioned it is 60 plus almost at all levels yahan pe bhi 63.15 hai there is a buy call there is a strong buy and ek bhi sell call nahi hai on a monthly level moving average indicators bhi agar main dekhu dekhiye all 12 are buy calls there is no sell call even on the technical indicators there is no sell there is no neutral everybody is bullish on this everybody is bullish including the fii's that i spoke to some of the fii's are in touch with us some small uh, venture partners and equity investors chota portfolio hai unka they are in touch with me and they are pretty bullish on the prospects of power finance especially because india is the leader in solar power generation we are probably one of the top 3 countries in solar power generation तो ये ओवरऑल जो पैकेज है जो आपको मिल रहा है बैठे बैठे 15 परसेंट रिटर्न बट फिर भी मैं एक चीज़ कहूँगा कि डोंट जंप द गन पूरा लमसम 10-12 लाख रुपया लगा के लोग गलती करते हैं डोंट डू दैट इफ़ यू इवन इफ़ यू आर पोजिशनल ट्रेडर आप एक्सपीरियंसड हैं तो आप उस हिसाब से पोजिशन बनाइए और अकॉर्डिंगली अपना हेज कीजिए एंड गेट इन द स्टॉक राइट तो ओवरऑल क्लासिक इंडिकेटर्स है कि वी लाइक दिस रेजिस्टेंस लेवल्स एंड सपोर्ट लेवल्स एक बार जाते जाते आपको बता देता हूँ जो इसका पहला मंथली लेवल पे सपोर्ट है वो बहुत पीछे है दैट मीन्स द स्टॉक इज़ एक्चुअली ग्रोन क्वाइट अ लॉट तो हो सकता है अगर इसमें करेक्शन आए तो बहुत ही स्टीप करेक्शन यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट कि बहुत गिर सकता है बट ट्रस्ट मी टिल द टाइम द डिविडेंड कम्स यानी ट्वेंटी सेकेंड मार्च विच इज़ अ मंडे ट्वेंटी सेकेंड ट्वेंटी थर्ड मार्च तक तो नहीं आएगा उसके बाद वंस पीपल स्टार्ट सेलिंग द स्टॉक आफ्टर गेटिंग डिविडेंड मे बी यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट सम करेक्शन राइट सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट पावर फाइनेंस इफ़ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज डू कॉमेंट योर क्वेश्चन एंड क्वेरीज एंड टेल अस वॉट वुड यू लाइक टू विथ स्टॉक वुड यू लाइक अस टू कवर इफ़ वी हैव इट ऑन आर रेड आर वील डेफिनेटली कवर थैंक यू प्रॉफिट ईयर्स एंड एज ऑलवेज यू नो इट कीप प्रॉफिटिंग